Welcome, Scorpio, to your September reading for the 26th through the 30th. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Okay, guys, if your friends like this, please like and subscribe. What is going on with you, dear Scorpios, at the end of the month over here? Let's see. we go guys what do we got dun, 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 dun. focused boy you're working hard and very focused at this time there is a lot of work going on around you for a lot of you wow you're just busy 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 as a bee and very focused at this time <clears throat> definitely can see that could even be a little bit of a challenge for some of you to try to get all the things done this week that you really need to get done right not worried about love right now. I'm separating myself from anything that has to do with love at this time because I don't want to really worry about it. So you might not be feeling as lovey-dovey right now because it does feel like you're kind of pushing towards another area. That's for some of you. For others of you, you're just separating yourself from things that don't feel like, you know what, I'm not in love with it right now. I'll come back to it later. Um, for a lot of you, though, when we're really talking about love, it's like I'm, I put it a delay on the love situation. I'm separating myself from that right now because I really have to um, get focused on what I want. So whether it's a person or something that you love, maybe if you have a hobby or something, let's say, you know, in the sixth house, I have this hobby and I love doing it, but I'm really busy at work. So I'll have to put that off. So I have to separate myself from doing this hobby at this time um, as I'm actually kind of at a crossroads and really making decisions about what it is I really need to do. So take that how it resonates. Whatever that desire is. And your major arcana in the in this reading is the strength card coming out in the middle of the reading. Um, and this is saying because right now I do feel very determined. And the solutions that I have coming right now in my mind is I need to stay very analytical, very on top of things. Some of you are definitely professionals. Um, and I do see the king of swords as yourself, um, not another person. Um, you definitely could be a lawyer or a teacher or something where you have to use a lot of analytics and a lot of mental thinking at this time. Maybe you're trying to get paperwork done, something of this nature. Um, and with the nine of pinnacles over here, it's just allowing you to understand that you do have all the resources at hand for you and you're really traveling towards the strength of getting what you need done at this time. So the approach of the thoughts is the best way that, to get to the determination of what you really need, right? So with the Ace of Cups coming in, you do have your fulfillments of wishes over here, but you're still not allowing this person. And I'm telling you right now, you're not allowing this person to put you on a pedestal right now. You're kind of keeping yourself away from this, whatever this is, whatever this is. Is this the hobby? Is this the person? Is this a love, interest? Whoever, whatever that is, you're still saying, I'm not paying attention and I really don't want you to pay this much attention to me right now. During this time, I'm really busy going after my victory. So definitely not allowing another person or thing in right now as you're really busy working. A lot of people be like, what happened to Scorpio? They're not calling me. They're kind of missing in action. And they might hear a little bit from you every now and, now and then, right? But maybe they're just not hearing from you as much. But however it is, it's important that you understand, you know, that you are giving the compassion and strength to yourself at this time for the thing that you feel is very important to you to have done. If I don't get this done, I'm not going to have my victory. So this is very important. And maybe you're not paying attention to a friend because maybe you are paying attention to a lover that you're trying to, you know, woo and who. <laughs> Your best friend would be like, what happened to you? Well, I'm hanging out over here, wooing and hooing, so-and-so. Whatever that important thing is to you. Let's see what's going on over here. Definitely focused. Yeah, not moving towards you. There was no victory right now. I have other things to do that I have to hold on tight to. So this has to have a delay so that I can hold on tight to this area. There is definitely something you have to take control of. This other person is not going to perceive, if it's a person, they're not going to perceive what you're doing. If anything, they're a little bit confused about the situation. Um, and for some of them, they may even feel like you're going after something that you have rose-colored glasses with. 
But I don't see that really. I think that that's a kind of a bad perspective on their side. Um, just saying, guys, really. Because in seriousness, if you're the king of swords, that means you already have the power to get done what you need to get done. So they may think that you're going after some fantasy that's not going to happen. Um, that's for some of you. And gathering all this strength for nothing. That is not true because you have the six of wands. You have the victory. And maybe that's another reason you're pushing them away is because they're trying to naysay what you're trying to do. Um, if they're naysaying and downplaying your um, business or, or anything that you're trying to do, that is not healthy. So that would actually make a lot of sense. Yeah, because it ends up draining your energy. With the Nine of Pentacles, it is definitely a challenge that you're going after, but you don't need them. And you're definitely traveling with strength towards this situation. And I do see you traveling hardcore over here because you know exactly what it is that you need. You don't need all the naysaying or, um, or you know, uh, from this person. Or if it's, it's your hobby, you don't need something that's uh, holding you back, right, from getting to where you need to be. Let's just put it that way. I need nothing to hold me back, right? I need nothing that's going to keep me underdetermined at this time because I need all the determination. And you have all the determination, my friends. You do. And you are moving beautiful with the Eight of Cups over here and keeping that strength alive again. So not only now are you coming up as the King of Wands, you're also coming up as the beautiful Queen of Wands, saying, because I have all the strength to get this done and I'm using what I need Um and I do feel like for some of you, there might be even somebody around you who, you know, if you are kind of pushing them to the side, there is a little resentment from them, right? And maybe they're just acting childish because you're not giving them, you know, what they want. However, with the Ace of Cups over here, yeah, you're saying everything's going to be okay and you have this beautiful message. That's the message you're waiting to. With. That message is whatever you're waiting for. Whatever you guys are waiting for on a message that you thought that might not come through at this time, the message is coming through. I mean, it definitely could be through a Pisces or a Sagittarius that says, you know what? I'm getting to your secret desires and everything that you're looking at and all the work that you put in is now going to pay, is going to pay off in its own way. It doesn't mean you're going to get the overall pay payoff at this time. It's the... Um, Recollect the recollection of what you're looking at. So you're paying very close attention to what it is you really need to do at this time. And now you're being, you're being watched. You're being rewarded for that. I just don't see the rewards 100% coming in just yet though. With the six of wands, it's more saying you're getting your victory. So whatever level you're looking at, it's, it's building I guess you can say it's building up because it's like forming the building blocks to what you need. And so whatever this message is, is some message you really, really, truly wanted because you know that's where the success is going to come out of. And that's why you have to put this other person or this other thing off because you're saying, I have this thing you don't understand. This is super duper important. Um, right? Right. And this is, you know, going to help you show off the strengths of your inner most visions. Maybe you're a visionary. Maybe you're putting something together, um, you know, that needs to be, you know, maybe some kind of board at work or something or paperwork or something. But there's definitely something that you're working very hard on. It could even be a college paper um, that you really need the professor to look at or something of this nature. You know what I'm saying, guys? Um, all the examples you can throw away if it's not yours, it's just it's something very important that Nothing can be in the way of at this time, okay? It really does require your attention this week, right? And you know it. Even if it's a person, another person, and you're like, if I don't get towards them, they're going to go away because they've already forewarned me, and I love this person, and I want to keep them. And then they're going to tell me the message maybe they you want to hear. I love you, and I want to stay, and you're like, yes. Oh, you figure it out. You know what it is. Okay, my friends, till next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.
Thank you.